Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to use the song mode inside progressions. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside the AUM. I have a MIDI channel with progression which is connected to uh, Bliss Omega. Okay, so let's open up again progressions. I have generated a progression, as you can see, key C, mode major, and I left everything as default. I, I have enabled at the moment block chord, okay, and also have the bass notes that are enabled and the host to sync as well. Near the host to sync, you can find a, a button which stands for song, and that allows you to enable to play a song composed of chords instead of, of playing just the chord progression which we have done so far in previous tutorials. So you click on song to enable and then you click and hold like so to open the song sequencer. So how does it work? Well first of all I want to move it, uh, click on this arrow down here which allows you to also go into this advanced mode because I'm going to explain how the all song sequencer works in this tutorial. So you select a chord here as you normally do, right, in your uh, um, progressions of chords, and then you have a position here which has been established by this uh, um, corner around the number, so we are on position number one. So we can add a pattern like that. So we click on the add, so we added the C, which is what is highlighted here. We can go to A minor, and other NA as well. Okay, so other things you can do, you can click on where it says here clear all, and then you click yes, and we remove all the code, uh, codes that you have added in. You can click and uh, hold on the add button, and it will add all uh, the um, progression of codes which uh, is uh, uh, has been previously generated. And you can also scroll here, by the way, uh, to the left to see the entire. Um, called the progression inside the sequencer. And you can see, you can uh, create quite a long song with lots of different patterns. So it's actually quite good. As you can see, it goes up to 256 location for chords. Okay, so let's clear again what we have created here. Um, of course, you can uh, um, continue add chords like this and uh, Actually, let's add the four chords which are the same. You can see as it adds the chords uh, to the sum sequencer, it moves the location here. You can, of course, click on one location and say, uh, select D minor, insert a chord. So it will insert the chord and everything moves to the right side. Or you can go to another position, click and hold on number three and say this B flat and click on replace and it will replace the chord. And you can also empty as well a location. So you click on empty and um, you can, in this case, add an empty at the end of the code that you have already added in. Now, if you click clear here, it will say empty there. If I click clear on select another location and I select and uh, click on clear, it will create another empty there as well. If I want to delete that chord or that empty space, which means it will not play a chord, just click on the delete and then it will delete automatically what it, where it is in terms of position. As you can see underneath each chord, there is a length here times four, which you can change here. Click on the plus or minus as well which is really nice. You can also act on selection here. So you can actually say, um, select that A minor here, cut it like so. Let's go to this one and just say copy. And um, sorry, I could have said that paste actually instead of copy, but now I, co I copied the A minor chord. But if I do it again, select the uh, D minor, I can say cut and then I go to this one and then I say paste like so and it pasted that uh, code which I've cut. Similarly, you can do it for a copy, select one, click copy, go to another location here and select paste like so. And what you can also do is select all uh, the different codes like that and then click um, and hold on the copy button and it will duplicate it, which is really, really nice. 
Next, what I want to show you is that you have a style here. So just um, select one location here, and then underneath, um, make sure that you select the play mode that you like. So in this case, block code, and then click on the style, and it will say block code. Then let's go to the next location, select arpeggiato, and then click on style. Then we go to the next one, again, style, same arpeggiato. So let's select strama now, and let's do the last two with a strama um, play mode. Okay, and of course you can click on play to listen. As you can see, when it gets to the end of the codes that you have inserted, it restarts, and that is because you have the looping mode here active, which you can also deactivate. Next, I wanted also to show you that, for example, let's say that you select a code like that one, that A minor, we are in that position there. You click on the on this um, button here, which represented the keyboard. Uh, this is an A minor um, chord, so um, let's show it better. Uh, let's add a G. Um, like so, perhaps it um, may be, uh, yeah, depends on really what uh, you want to do. Oh, let's open up here. So it actually detects the code, so it is A minor. And when you have these open as detecting a code and you have changed the code, click on that, and then you see the A minor 9 has been now changed on the song sequencer, which is really nice. Okay, let's click clear all again. Let's select yes. Let's talk about these advanced uh, um, options here for the sequencer, which allows you to build uh, your song. You have a full song here. You have a conductor. You have then different category, introverse, etc. If you click on hold on one of them, you can change also the name from, for example, from intro uh, to something like initial, whatever you whatever you prefer. So the way it works is you go on some of this category after full song and contractor, and you play some chords. So let's say A minor and uh, A minor. Then let's go to the verse. Oops, let's click just on the verse. And so let's select D minor, add, um, let's go to the first position. It says, do you want to go to that event? And we say yes, and click add, and then add, okay. Then, so you have an intro with two A minor chord and you have a verse with two D minor chord. Now you can go to the conductor, click and hold the intro and move it down, drag and drop, click and hold the verse and uh, drag it down. So drag and drop. So you have in the first position the intro, which contains these A minor, two A minor chords. And then in the second position, you have the verse, which will contain these D, twice D minor chords. Now you can go to the contractor, conductor, sorry, and click and hold on the conductor again. It will say, do you want to rebuild your song using the conductor on track? You say yes, and it moves you to full song, and it has pasted uh, all the codes coming from the intro, the two A minor chords, and also from the verse, the two D minor chords. So as you can see, it allows you to build very quickly songs inside the sequencer. Um, and then, of course, you can keep playing. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you found this tutorial useful, and uh, as always, see you next time. Bye.